Today, we'll start working with the Reshape tool. It's a bit trickier than other tools and requires some practice to master. While it's very easy to use Reshape for some amusing results, the key to getting the precise results you're looking for is the correct choice of zoom level. For example, if we want to alter the shape of the nose, we'll zoom in so the nose occupies most of the screen. Now we can play with its shape using the Refine option without changing the other regions in the image. Now, let's slightly touch up the jawline. Widen the smile. Move the hair back to expose the forehead. And finally, let's tuck in the patch of stray hair from the brow. As you can see, reshape can help us in many different scenarios, as long as we get to the right zoom level. My next step is to whiten the teeth. Even with this simple manipulation, zooming in gets us more accurate results. Using patch can help us fix the teeth and remove some blemishes. As we've already demonstrated in previous tutorials, we will use tones to lighten up the area beneath the eyes. And now to smoothing. We'll start with a gentle pass over the skin, and using the smoother option, we'll reduce the lines beneath the eyes. It's extremely important not to over smooth the face if we want to create natural looking results. The smoother option should only be applied when it's really needed. Now, I'll go back to tones to lighten up the eyes just a little bit. As always, I sample a bright tone from the eye with a long press and apply it with a few finger strokes. My last edit is to reshape again. I'll now reposition the jaw a little. No need to zoom for that. Okay, we're done here. As you can see, reshape is a very powerful tool, which, when used correctly, can create spectacular results. In one of the next tutorials, we will see how to use it in more challenging scenarios. I'll put a link to this image in the YouTube description, so you can download it and play with it as well. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.